Hello everyone, welcome to IIT Jam in Chemistry tutorial number 8 and lecture number 4 of Atomic and Molecular Structure. And in this lecture, the subtopics are web particle duality and wavelength of an electron. Let's start with web particle duality, that is the, the Broglie relation. According, according to Einstein's theory of relativity, energy is E is related to mass M as the world renowned equation E equals to mc square where C is the velocity of light in vacuum. On the other hand, according to Max Planck theory of radiation of energy of a photon, its energy is related to its frequency nu as this is also yet another world renowned equation E equals to H nu where H is known as the Planck's constant. Now, Louis de Broglie has combined these two energy terms to state that every material is associated with wave that is mc square equals to energy equals to h nu okay now take this c to the right hand side here so it will go to the denominator and here in the uh, in the left hand side mc would be left so it will become h nu by c so instead of mc square you are writing c and take out one c here in the right hand side which will go to the denominator okay now take this new to the denominator of c okay so it would further become h over c by new okay this c by new is nothing but wavelength that is lambda so we have got mc equals to h by lambda but we know that mc equals to momentum which is denoted as p therefore we can write p equals to h by lambda okay this is the the Broglie relationship so let me block this this is very important p equals to h by lambda now equation 6 this equation is the the Broglie equation and therefore for a particle having mass m and velocity v should have wave nature with wavelength what should be the wavelength now lambda equals to h by p or instead of p you can write mv okay this is equation number seven and let me block this one also now let's move on to the numerical problems so calculate the energy in electron volt of photon having wavelength of 0 0.1 angstrom so we wavelength lambda equals to it is given that 0 0.1 angstrom which is equal to 10 to the power minus 11 meter so what is the frequency now the frequency nu is equal to c by lambda okay so what is the value of c now the value of c is exactly not 3 into 10 to the power 10 if you try to calculate this accurately then the accurate value is 2.9979 into 10 to the power 10 meter okay meter per second and lambda what the value of lambda you have got in the si unit it is 10 to the power minus 11 meter okay so if you divide this velocity of light by wavelength then you will get the frequency in hertz or second inverse unit okay and the value is this one we haven't calculated this out because directly we have to do this here okay so that what is that what about the energy of the photon e equals to h nu so h is the Planck's constant in the SI convention it has the value 6.626 into 10 to the power minus 34 joule second and here this is the overall value this much amount of joule okay so here the overall energy uh, um, no this is actually in second inverse so second into second inverse will be cancelled and here the joule will be left here it is reflected okay so once again i repeat here the planck's constant it's joule per second and here this value is in second inverse so second and second inverse would be cancelled by each other joule will be left so what is the final result now it is 1.9878 into 10 to the power minus 12 joule so this is the required energy now in electron volt it is you are uh, instructed to find it out in electron volt so we know that one electron volt is 1.602 into 10 to the power minus 19 joule therefore uh, 1.9878 into 10 to the minus 12 joule means what you have to divide this okay by this term so the final result is 
this one 1.9878 into 10 to the minus 12 divided by this one so the final result is 1.24 into 10 to the power 5 electron volt so this is the final result so you have to know these things very well okay you know the definition of electron volt actually the work done by an electron in one volt potential difference and you know that the charge of an electron into uh, one volt is one electron volt and that is actually charge means what 1.602 into 10 to the minus 19 coulomb and volt is one volt and coulomb into volt is joule so one electron volt equals to 1.602 into 10 to the power minus 19 joule okay so this relationships you have to utilize and keep it in your mind uh, in order to utilize in these types of numerical problems okay now move on to the next question what is the Broglie's wavelength of a body of mass 1000 gram moving with a velocity of 3000 meter per second so according to the, the Broglie's equation we have here lambda equals to h by mv h is the Planck's constant m is the mass and v is the velocity so in the SI convention h is the value 6.626 into 10 to the power minus 34 joule second and here mass is 1000 gram should be written in the SI convention that is 1 kilogram and the velocity is 3000 meter per second okay so joule into second joule means what kg meter square per second square whereas if you do if you multiply this with second then it will become kg meter square per second joule second means and here it is kg meter per second so here meter square in the numerator here meter in the denominator and others are same kg kg cancelled by each other second inverse second inverse cancel by each other so meter would be left so automatically we'll get the unit get back the unit meter here so lambda will be obtained in meter and the value is 2.20 8 into 10 to the power minus 37 meter so look at this value is this is this size of the uh, of the value of lambda that means is it acceptable 10 to the power minus 37 meter you know 10 to the power minus 24 meter is one yoctometer okay that is too 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 much little and it is much more little than that one also so a, a body having mass one kilogram may have wavelength may have wave nature but that wave is very much negligible according to de Broglie's theory okay that is the beauty of this theory so every moving body has wave nature but this is negligible for heavier substances whereas it is accountable for lighter substances okay so let's move on to the next question what is the wavelength of a photon with energy one electron volt okay so e equals to h nu equals to h c by lambda you know all the terminologies or lambda equals to h c by e okay let's put the values in the si convention the value of h the Planck's constant it is 6.626 into 10 to the power minus 34 joule second velocity of light roughly 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second and energy definitely it is one electron volt and one electron volt means 1.602 into 10 to the power minus 19 joule so you have to put this in the unit joule okay so that is why it is instead of one electron volt you have to write 1.602 into 10 to the power minus 19 joule okay so what is left only meter should be left joule cancelled by joule second cancelled by second inverse so meter would be left alone here so the value would be obtained in meter unit and the value is 1.2408 into 10 to the power minus 6 meter okay and 10 to the power minus 6 meter means 1 micron so you can also write this in the micron unit it is 1.2408 micron now move on to the next question an electron moves in an electric field with kinetic energy 2.5 electron volt what is the associated the Broglie wavelength okay very easy question so wavelength is lambda equals to h by momentum okay now kinetic energy this is half mv square now multiply this mv square with m then you have to divide this with m also so it becomes mv whole square divided by m that is nothing but it is mv square and we know mv means p means momentum so it is half twice m that means uh, sorry one by twice m into p square okay instead of mv you can write p p is the momentum 
so mb square mb whole square is p square so this is the expression of kinetic energy so here in place of kinetic energy it is 2.5 electron volt that means 2.5 into 1.602 into 10 to the power minus 19 joule so in the joule convention you have put the value of kinetic energy here in the left hand side okay in place of here in place of this now in the right hand side 1 by twice m so m is the mass of the electron so 2 into mass of the electron that means 9.11 into 10 to the power minus 90 uh, uh, 10 to the power minus 31 kilogram now p square is unknown to us so by just calculating just by uh, solving this relationship we can easily find out the value of p and the value of momentum should be what kg meter per second isn't it so the value has been obtained by solving this equation is 8.54 into 10 to the power minus 25 kilogram meter per second so you have got the momentum and you know the value of Planck's constant so Planck's constant constant divided by the obtained value of momentum and the result would be in a meter okay and the final value is 7.76 into 10 to the power minus 10 meter now you know that 10 to the power minus 10 meter is one angstrom therefore you can also write this in the angstrom unit so this is directly 7.76 angstrom okay so this is the the Broglie's wavelength next question calculate the wavelength associated with an electron accelerated from rest by a potential of 10,000 volt so kinetic energy of the electron means charge of the electron into potential difference okay now charge of the electron what is the charge of the electron it is the charge of the electron this much coulomb and what is the potential difference this is one ten thousand volt now coulomb into volt is joule so directly instead of coulomb volt we can write here joule okay and the result is actually just five to be deducted from here because it is five uh, sorry four to be deducted from here because four zeros are here so for if four zeros are deducted then it becomes 15 instead of 19 so it is 10 to the power minus 15 okay so the value is 1.602 into 10 to the power minus 15 joule so this is the kinetic energy of the electron now the same process kinetic energy equal to half mb square equal to 1 by twice m into mb whole square equals to 1 by twice m into p square where p is the moment of mb so what is the value of p p should be the value of what kinetic energy into twice m that's root over okay because p square is kinetic energy into twice m so p equals to root over kinetic energy into twice m now just simply put the values kinetic energy you have got this value 1.602 into 10 to the power minus 15 and here 2 this 2 and instead of m you have to put the value of mass of electron 9.11 into 10 to the power minus 31 kilogram and the final result is 5.4 into 10 to the power minus 23 kg meter per second okay so that is the momentum now what is the wavelength wavelength is Planck's constant by momentum so Planck's constant here the value of Planck's constant in the SI unit and here the value of momentum 5.4 into 10 to the power minus 24 kg meter per second so you have just put this value and finally you have got the value in meter unit so the value is 1.226 into 10 to the power minus 11 meter now 10 to the power minus 10 meter is one angstrom so if you convert this into 10 to the power minus 10 then you have to multiply this with 0.1 so it becomes 0 0.1226 so this is actually 0 0.1226 angstrom so that's all about uh, this the Broglie's relationship now move on to our next subtopic which is wavelength of an electron due to its wave nature an electron should have some certain wavelength in different orbits so electrons actually not moving along the circle okay it is moving in a sinusoidal manner along a circumference of a circle and you have to find out the lambda value that means the wavelength of that electron so according to the, the Broglie's theory to explain Bohr model the circumference of each orbit is integral multiple of wavelength of the electron isn't it suppose it is twice pi r so if wavelength is lambda then twice pi r must have to be integral multiple of lambda it is one lambda it may be two lambda three lambda four lambda whatever it is because the wave the cycle have to be completed okay so at a certain point the 
uh, actually the web has started um, uh, with the crest and tuff then the cycle has to be uh, has to be completed okay at that point after having completed the one round along the circumference so it has to be integral multiple so if r be the radius of each board orbit then twice pi r must be equal to n lambda this is equation number eight and we know the relationship between radius and principal quantum number n okay and that relationship is r varies as n square that means r1 by n1 square equal to r2 by n2 square now put in place of r1 this is the first for the first board orbit so this is a0 and n1 just one okay for the first board orbit so in place of r2 you just put r that means any radius for any principal quantum number n other than one so in place of n2 we have to put n and in place of r2 you have to put r okay thus you get this one a0 by 1 square equals to r by n2 square that means r equals to a0 into n2 n n square not n2 is n square so putting this value of r in equation number 8 so you got the relationship r and n, n. so you just put this value here uh, uh, so you would get twice by a0 n square equals to n lambda and n 1 n would be cancelled and finally you will get the value of lambda that is twice by a0 into n so that is equation number 9 that is the wavelength of an electron okay so here the Bohr radius is associated and the principal quantum number is also associated okay so lambda can be expressed as a function of a0 and n so let me block this equation equation number 9 so that's all about wavelength of an electron and one more problem calculate the wavelength of an electron in n equals to 2 Bohr orbit you, you will be given any orbit n maybe 2 3 4 5 so right just practice for practice put n equals to 2 what you get so you know the relationship lambda equals to twice pi a0 n and the wavelength of the electron in n equals to 2 Bohr orbit isn't it it should be just put lambda equals to twice pi then the value of a0 you have just uh, calculated this value this, that is 0 0.5292 angstrom okay into n equals to 2 so the overall result will be obtained in the angstrom unit okay because you have put this in the angstrom unit so it is 6.65 angstrom so this way you can find out any uh, wavelength um, a wavelength of the electron at any orbit okay so that's all for today's lecture thank you and have a nice day